Hi, my name is Julie and I'm an MRI tech here at Holy Cross Germantown Hospital. I'm going to talk to you about MRI safety. What's so important about MRI and why educate people about MRI safety? The MRI room has the potential to be the most dangerous area of the hospital when the guidelines are not being followed. Whoa, stop. Why? Let me explain a little bit about MRI. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Under the cover of the magnet are coils of wire in which electricity passes that create the magnetic field. These coils are cooled using liquid helium, a cryogen gas, to eliminate electrical resistance so the magnetic field is on all day, every day, even when not in use. In case of an emergency, we are able to turn off the magnet, however it is not as simple as just turning it back on. Hitting the quench button, located in the magnet room, will cause a collapse in the magnetic field within seconds. An emergency in MRI would mean that someone is pinned against the machine or impaled by a ferromagnetic object accidentally taken in the room, and there is no other way to get it out unless we shut off the magnetic field. The button should only be used under dire circumstances, as it is very costly to ramp the magnet back up, as well as a delay in patient care when the magnet is out of service. When the system is quenched, all of the gas is released at once outside the building using vent pipes. If the pipes fail, frigid helium can discharge into the MRI room. It is approximately negative 450 degrees Fahrenheit and can, can cause severe cold burns. In addition to the possibility of burns, the pressure in the room rapidly increases and the oxygen will be depleted as the gas expands. The oxygen levels in this room are checked on a regular basis to ensure a safe environment. MRI uses a very strong magnet along with radio waves and a computer to generate very detailed images of the inside of your body. When a patient is placed inside the magnetic field, the hydrogen molecules in the body line up like a compass. Radio waves targeted at a specific area of the body then convert signals released from the hydrogen molecules into three-dimensional images for the doctors to diagnose. So how strong is the magnet? Well, the Earth's magnetic field is 0 0.00005 Tesla. The most common magnet strength used today is 1.5 Tesla, approximately 30,000 times stronger than the Earth's gravity. Because of the extremely strong magnetic fields used in MRI, there are serious safety precautions that must be followed at all times. Any items containing ferromagnetic materials like iron, nickel, and cobalt must never be taken near the MRI room, especially inside the scan room. Every single person who enters this room, including staff, Family members, doctors, and patients are thoroughly screened. Persons with a pacemaker, brain aneurysm clips, and other implanted devices are not permitted to have an MRI. It is the MRI technologist's responsibility to screen patients and do research on any surgeries or devices they have to determine whether or not it is safe for them to have the scan. For example, if a patient has a brain aneurysm clip, it is very possible the clip could torque in the strong magnetic field causing rupture of the vessel and bleeding internally, possibly causing death. The battery in the pacemaker will stop while in the magnetic field. There is also the possibility that the wires could heat up and burn the surrounding tissue. In people who have a history of welding, even when they always wore goggles, there is a possibility of small metal splinters in the eye. We must perform an x-ray to clear the patient of metal in the eyes. If not, the tiny metal piece could move in the eye and potentially cause blindness. This is how important it is to screen every single person who goes into this room. No imaging test is worth seriously harming or even causing death to someone. There is, there is always alternative methods to get a diagnosis. The magnet is unforgiving and does not allow for mistakes. Even small objects can turn into dangerous projectiles with extreme speed and power in the MRI room. A paperclip was clocked flying 40 miles per hour in a 1.5 Tesla magnet. It's basic physics. The larger and heavier an object is, the faster it will fly into the machine. Here I will demonstrate just how strong the magnet is. My coworker took this foam stress ball 
cut a hole in it and put several magnetic washers in there and taped it back up. I like using this to demonstrate because it's very soft. It's not going to hurt the magnet or hurt any person if it hits them and it's very easy to pull off because of how light it is. So we're gonna put the ball with the magnets in it next to a regular stress ball with no magnets in it and we're gonna send it into the magnet so you can see how strong it is. The ball flies into the magnet, swinging around a bit as it tries to align perfectly with the magnetic field. This is easy to pull off because it is so light. However, if an oxygen tank or any other heavy object were accidentally taken in the room, it would stick to the machine and even 10 people could not pull it off. In that case, you would have to quench the magnet. Everything in this room is non-ferrous. We have a special wheelchair, IV pole, uh, fire extinguisher, step stool, monitor, even our engineer has special tools. And we clean our own room with special housekeeping equipment to prevent accidents. For every person who comes in here, they must remove belts, hairpins, bobby pins, wallets, your credit card will be, the magnetic strip will be wiped out, watches, phones, pocket knives, etc. There is an MRI safe fire extinguisher in the MRI control room that is clearly marked and the regular fire extinguisher right outside the room is marked not for MRI. It is very important for, in addition to everyone working in the hospital, that the fire department, EMS workers, and police officers are educated on MRI safety and never bring any emergency response equipment into the MRI room. We've had situations here where I've scanned inmates and we've had to use very strong plastic uh, restraints as opposed to handcuffs when they have an MRI. If there is any emergency in the MRI scan room, Hospital personnel must remember they cannot just run into this room like any other room in the hospital. They must either have the patient removed by someone who is already screened or have the MRI tech remove them. If the patient codes on the MRI table, it is the MRI technologist's responsibility to get the patient out of the room as fast and as safely as possible because the code card cannot go into the MRI room. When utilized safely and properly, MRI is a very important imaging technique used to diagnose a wide variety of diseases without using any ionizing radiation. Education is the most important tool in MRI safety. Thank you for listening.